So I've always been curious if earwigs will actually pinch you because I've been hesitant to just like pick them up or when you roll things over and see them all over the place. I, I usually just like don't even touch them because of their big pinchers. But um, today I want to put that to the test if they will actually pinch with those um, because I've never been pinched. I've never really heard of somebody being pinched. So I tried to find the biggest earwig I could um, with like the biggest pinchers just to really see if they'll do anything. He really doesn't seem to be interested in pinching me at all, and like I can feel a tiny bit of pressure. You can see when I push him down with my hand, he'll go for it. Like he'll try to get me, like right there, see? But they just really aren't strong enough to hurt at all, really. Like, I just, I just really don't even feel anything. I thought that it would be big enough to at least grip me, like it could hold on, but they seem not even strong enough to like really hold on to me, so. All right, well I think I can confidently say that that earwig had no intention of pinching me. In fact, it didn't even really seem capable of it. Once I took some time to think about it, I realized that I have a lot more questions about these little creatures, like if they're not interested in pinching me, what are those pinchers even used for? Or do they really crawl into human ears to lay eggs, like people say? I did some research and learned that earwigs want pretty much nothing to do with your ears. I mean, they do like dark, damp places, but the chances of one of these little guys burrowing down your ear canal is extremely unlikely. Now, the main use of those big pinchers is primarily for breeding males who want to fight each other off to win the females, and the females actually use them to protect their young. And this was another interesting fact that I ran into. Did you know that earwigs are actually known for being exceptionally good mothers? They will care for their young as well as protect them until they are grown enough to protect themselves, which I found super interesting. I never would have guessed. The next surprising fact that I ran into was that earwigs actually have wings and can fly short distances, so hopefully that doesn't make them creepier to those who already thought they were scary enough. Determining the gender of an earwig is actually really easy to do. If the pinchers are curved, like you see here, then it's a male, and if they're straight, like you see here, then it's a female. But anyways, I thought it was really interesting to learn some more about something that we see so often around us in our yards and things and and really the remarkable capabilities that these little creatures have. So I hope you enjoyed and see you on the next one.